Hi all, welcome to ClickShare.com. This is the second video on joins in ClickView. In the first part, we have understood basic concepts which includes how the term joins is used interchangeably in ClickView. And we've also learned about joins with select statement and load statement. Before we get started, let's differentiate the understanding of joins into logical processing and physical processing. So I'll explain both of them. We will focus on logical processing to gain the conceptual understanding. However, please remember that physical processing might be different. And for me, it's like a black box in ClickView. <laughs> Let's start with the inner join. Before we start, I have created a simple example of two tables, which are fruits and vegetables, which I will show you very shortly. And the common fields between the two tables is the color. So by default, ClickView performs an implicit inner join with on the key fields, which will be colors in our case. However, however, let's focus on using the example to perform explicit inner join. And this is why I'm calling joins as horizontal table operators. Let's understanding basic rules of joins. Join predicate in ClickView is automatic. I'm sure you're not surprised by this behavior. In SQL, you explicitly write the join predicate using the on keyword. However, you don't have to worry about doing this in ClickView. Second point, if you have more than one common fields in both the tables, then the join predicate is performed based on the distinct combinations of values across the fields. There is no restriction on number of common fields across both the tables. Third point. However, if you don't have any common fields, then ClickView by default performs a Cartesian product. Fourth one. If you don't provide the table name in the join syntax, then ClickView assumes that you are referring to the previously loaded table. So it's always a good practice to provide the table name while joining the two tables. While performing joins, ClickView will always keep the first table name and ignores the second table name. You either call this table as the first table or the left table. You will understand what I'm saying very shortly. So let's get and let's look at the practical example. I'll jump to ClickView. So I have uh, three tables here, sorry, uh, I have two tables here. One is called fruits, the other one is vegetables. Let me close this message. Let's look at the load script. So I have here fruits table, I have fruit and its color, and then vegetables and its color. So fruits and vegetables. And then if I go ahead and reload this and press control T, so here ClickView is performing implicit join and it's using color field as a key field to link between fruits and vegetables. It's pretty straightforward. Now, let's say that we wanted to perform an explicit join. And remember, your practical example will be generally much more complicated, but I wanted to keep it simple and easy to gain the understanding. So let's go to the script editor. And here I will say in a join and then you don't have to specify the table name but it's always a good practice to specify the left table which is fruits so click you don't need to do some guesswork rather it should join with fruits so so we have uh, different fruits here we have mango apple orange grapes and uh, blackberries my favorite ones we have different colors as well and uh, let's go ahead and reload this and let's look at the table viewer right now so now if you see there is only one table and this is called fruits this is what my fifth point is so you click view will name the first table as a table name and let's go back and click on ok and let's look at the logical processing to understand how this join is performed. 
So I'll go back to PowerPoint. So the next step is look at the logical understanding of inner join fruits and uh, as you have seen we have fruit and the color and we have vegetables and the color we performing a join here that's an inner join and that's our join predicate field name color is our join predicate yes and output table which is green red yellow because you see red here and you have red here and you have green here you have green here and then you have yellow here you will have yellow here purple and orange and black are not present in both the tables so click view will exclude them so let's look at the same structure as a venn diagram so we have on the left hand side we have fruits which is mango apple orange grapes and blackberries and on the right hand side we have vegetables like lemon tomatoes cucumber and aubergine and we're trying to do an inner join so the inner join would return mango apple grapes lemon tomatoes and cucumbers the reason for that is colors is our joint predicate and the three colors which are common between fruits and between fruits and vegetables are yellow red and green i hope this makes sense and this is all about inner joints so let's look at the other joints in coming videos thank you for watching have a good day